Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with Dexter Stardust on iOS, and I'm going to pick up where I left off. Enjoy! Okay. We've got all sorts of stuff we sell in here. Rubber chickens with a pulley in them, cocktail umbrellas, dashboard hula girls, all the essentials. I already have a sample of our merchandise. Hey, Aurora. Huh? I can't wait to get some tacos. Me too. Gotta love Taco Shack. Gotta love the Taco Shack. Where are we again? Ganymede. Where is that? It's a moon of Jupiter. Hmm, Jupiter. Jupiter. What? Did you forget what Jupiter is again? Nah, I was just trying to think of a joke. Well, you better hurry because we have work to do. Hmm, I don't get it. <laughs> Gotta get back to the delivery. Alright, Dex. Let's not get into any trouble this time. There's a lever back there. Probably opens from the inside. It's pretty firmly attached. I think it opens from the inside. We've got all sorts of stuff we sell in here. Rubber chickens with a pulley in them. Hmm. I think it opens from the inside. Here's the translator. Ah, uh, there's no battery in it. Maybe Aurora knows where the batteries are. It's a photo of my dad and Uncle Jetto. I think it was taken during the course of their trip to the planet Breeze. Kind of makes me wish I had a photo of my mom. I should probably leave that here. Hmm. I'm not carrying that around. Oh, you're coming with me. I'll just take this s'mores kit along for the adventure. Are you kidding me? I can't fly this thing. I'd probably fly into the orc cloud or something. That's where I sit. Why is my chair so beat up when Aurora's is in such good condition? <laughs> it's pretty firmly attached. Now's not the time to sit around. I'm not carrying that around. She'd look lovely there, but then I'd be out of dashboard hula girl. It's an automatic real-time universal translator with hundreds of languages programmed into it. There's no batteries in it though. Oh wait. Hey Aurora. Huh? I found the translator, but it doesn't have any batteries. Mm, that's a problem. Are you sure we don't have any on the ship? Hmm, I think I remember putting them in something, but I can't remember what. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Gotta get back to the delivery. Alright, Dex. Let's not get into any trouble this time. I can't combine those two things. 
It has graham crackers and chocolate in it. No marshmallows, though. Aurora used them last week when she made hot chocolate. Hmm. They're just boxes of our merchandise. Aurora is the one who knows what's what. I'm just the salesman. There's a lever back there. Probably opens from the inside. I don't know how to get to it. Um. There's nothing to translate. Oh, to path. Okay. I can make some sleepy time tea with this. Picking flowers, this space adventure is off to a great start. Hey, a person. Are you sterilizing the stuffing that goes underneath your eye patch? I don't wear an eye patch. Hmm. Hi, what are you doing over here? What are you doing over here? I don't know. It was either here or towards the city, and I chose here. I guess that makes two of us. So, what brings you to the woods? What does it look like? Well, I know what it looks like, but why are you over here? <sighs> I'm waiting. Waiting for what? You ask a lot of questions. You know that? It's one of my defining qualities. That and tacos. Have you ever been to the taco shack? Casa del Taco Grande? Oh yeah, that's it. No, I don't like tacos. Oh, um... <laughs> but if you must know, I'm waiting for someone. Oh, who? Space, you're annoying. I'm waiting for my sister to get back from the city, okay? That's all you need to know. Okay, okay, sorry I asked. Where are you and your sister from? Around. I'm not familiar with that planet. Hmm. Is that a moon of Saturn? No. Venus? No, nah, man. Venus doesn't have any moons. Then how can you be from a place that doesn't exist? Uh, we just kind of travel around, you know. We're kind of looking for something. Ooh, what are you looking for? A robot. What? A robot? Like, from Breeze? I prefer to call it Planet X. Tomato, tomato. Why are you looking for a Vrezian robot? It's the craziest thing. There have been reports that a Vrezian robot has been going from planet to planet looking for something. It lurks in the shadows and evades notice. They say it looks exactly like the ones that came to Earth with a device. Whoa. Yeah, I think it's gathering information so the Vrezians can wipe us all out once and for all. My sister thinks it's looking for something, or someone. And you think it's here? It leaves a slight radiation trail, which we've been able to track. We think it's inside the city somewhere. Since they only allow one person in the city at a time, I'm camped out here waiting until she gets back. What are you going to do when you find it? I don't know. My sister has questions for it. I think it might be dangerous. I think I'm going to take off. All right. Let me try. I'm not going to go and just give my stuff away. I need a reason first. Toasty. I can't pick that up. It's too hot to use barehanded. Um, no. I can't do that. Wait a second. Hmm. 
Finders Keepers. Don't be lost, Auvli. Um. Hola, soy Dexter Stardust. ¿Hablas marciano? Uh, tú no lo pales, Creole. Well, it looks like my universal translator needs batteries. It's definitely not working yet. Campila, salve! Um... Hi! I'm Dexter Stardust, and I'm selling these... Mm, dashboard hula dolls. And, uh... Tu ne lo pale creole. Well, it looks like my uniform... It's definitely... The Jovian plant that induces drowsiness. Hmm. Hey, Aurora. Huh? I found the translator, but it doesn't have any batteries. Mm, that's a problem. Hmm. I think I remember. I'm sure you'll figure. You gotta get back to. All right. Let's not get into any tr I can't combine those two things. How do I open this thing? We've got all sorts of stuff we sell in here. Rubber chickens with a pulley in them, cocktail umbrellas, dashboard hula girls, all the essentials. I can't combine those. It's pretty firmly attached. I should probably leave that here. Hmm. Huh. I don't get where the battery is. Oh, maybe in the... The battery-powered hip swaying dashboard hula girl. Our newest item and biggest seller. The batteries are still in it. I'll just take these out. Oh, triple A's. There we go. Good thing this thing takes triple A's. Okay, now we... What do you want? Oh, yes, um... Man, that's a big arm you have. Do you work out? Actually, I haven't been able to work out lately. Oh, that stinks, bro. What's going on? The new job. Ugh. Boss not giving you enough time off? Maybe, I don't know. I just hate talking to people who come to this door. They're always like, I want to come in and talk to the Viceroy, blah, 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 blah. It makes me so mad. Got it. What did you want again? I'd really like to come in, please. Everyone who entered the walls of this city must have a basic knowledge of our ancient proverbs. Do you know our ancient proverbs? I don't know. Then you can't come in. Oh, space. Hmm. Maybe she knows? Hi again. Oh, hi. Um, do you know any ancient proverbs? Having difficulty getting into the city? 
Uh, something like that. My sister had to memorize a whole bunch of proverbs in order to get past the guard. How did she do it? We've got a book full of them. Great, can I have it? Hmm, tell you what. I'm trying to make s'mores over here, but all I've got are marshmallows. If you can bring me some chocolate and graham crackers, I'll give you the book. Here's a s'mores kit. It still has the chocolate and graham crackers. We ate the marshmallows. Thanks. You can take the book of Proverbs here next to me. We don't need it anymore. Sweet. That was easy. Holy free holies. Some of these are pretty strange. Okay, I'm gonna take a photo of this. What do you want? Oh, yes, um... I'd really like to come in, please. Everyone who entered the walls of this city must have a basic knowledge of our ancient proverb. Do you know our ancient proverbs? Uh, yes. Then complete the following three proverbs. Okay, here is the first one. What doesn't a walk in water know? Oh yeah, I know this. Sun. It doesn't know the pain of the rock in the sun. That's one. Now for the next one. What is behind every mountain? I remember this one. I learned it in school. Another mountain. Another mountain. That's two. You have to get one more correct. An empty sack is incapable of doing what? Oh man, this one's easy. It's just, um... Standing. Standing. That's three. You have proved your knowledge of our ancient proverbs. You may enter the city. Haha! -ha, take that, you stupid ancient proverbs. What? How dare you? Oh, no, 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 no. It's just an ancient Martian proverb. And it means, um... No, wait. Don't tell me. I want to guess. Does it mean that we must be willing to let go of the past in order to embrace the future? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very wise indeed. I feel I have been the student. It's never too late to learn, I guess. Haha, <laughs> well said, my friend. Please come in. Mm. Okay, so what do I. Oh, nice. Mm. Great! I made it to the city, and I haven't even been ambushed by crazy hermits. Yes siree, things are looking good for old boy Dex. Now I just gotta get an audience with the Viceroy. I hope I don't have to wait long in line or something to see her. There may be a time when I need condiments, but it's not now. It looks like it's beaten metal, kind of sharp. Come here, fishy. Take everything. I don't have any use for it. I should probably leave that here. I can't reach it. I don't think he wants me to interrupt. I can't do that. For a guy who chews with his mouth closed, he's still pretty gross. Hello, you must be the plumber we called. What makes you think I'm the plumber? Your posture, your jacket, your boots, and of course your goggles. These are adventures goggles. My father gave them to me before he died. Oh, was he a plumber too? I'm not the plumber. Oh well, let me know if you see him. Mm -hmm. 
Huh? Hey, what are you doing? Don't touch that. Sorry. Uh, sir? I have a question. One moment. How can I help you? Do you have any rooms available? I'm sorry, sir, but we are completely booked. How can you be booked? There's no one in the street or lobby. We don't have that many rooms. Oh. What is it that you do around here? While the planet of Ganymede is full of interesting attractions, this city was set up in support of those requesting an audience with the Viceroy. Apart from the restaurant, hotel, and surrounding forest, there is not much to do. The Viceroy of what exactly? Ganymede is part of the sovereign Jovian system, of which Io is the monastic capital body. Our Viceroy is Her Majesty's representative. Her decisions are sound and final. Always? Always. You know what? I actually am the plumber. Wonderful. Then you'll be needing this manhole cover hook. What's it for? I thought you said you were a plumber. I am. Uh, yes. Uh, give me that manhole hook uh, thing there. All right. Here you go. Let me know when you fixed our plumbing issue. Slippery little guy. Slippery little guy. I could do that, but he'll just eat it up. Perhaps there's something I can combine with the cheese that'll make it easier to catch him. I can't combine those two things. I can't combine... Cheese and chamomile? Now that's sleepy time cheese. Time to go to sleep, my friend. Aww. Aha! Got him! What are we doing to this mouse? It's pretty firmly attached. It's locked. I can't do that. do that. That would just wake him up. Okay, what am I trying to help? Oh, it opens wait. manhole covers. Never mind. Okay. I thought it was going to be used for this, but never mind. It's locked. Stop! Oh, it's you! Come in! I'm not going down there. Not unless I have a good reason. I can't do that. I'm not going around putting rats on people's plates willy-nilly. I need a good reason first. How could I possibly use a metal fish with that? I don't think he wants me to interrupt. I don't think that'll fit in my jacket. I can't do that. I can't do that. 
For a guy who chews with his. I can't do that. Hmm. I'm not going around. I need a good. I can't reach it. Wow, he really is noisy. I think it says employees only in the local language. That would just wake him up. How could I possibly use a metal fish with that? Hmm. That would just wake him up. That would just wake him up. I can't do that. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I can't do that. It says, the inflatable parachute invented by Jean-Baptiste Toussaint. After making his fortune in the exciting field of alternative plummet prevention, Mr. Toussaint went on to enter the hotel business with his successful VA hotel chain. Uh, sir? I have a question. One moment. How can I help you? What is it that you do around here? While the planet of Ganymede is full of interesting attractions, this apart from the restaurant, the Viceroy of w Ganymede is part of the- Our Viceroy is her- Always? Always. I think I'm good. Thanks. Wonderful. Hi again. Oh, hi. I think I'm going to take off. All right. Not really sure what I'm supposed to do. That would just wake up. Hey, Aurora. Gotta get back to the delivery. All right, X. That's not getting to it. It's pretty firmly attached. I think it opens from the inside. There's a lever back there. Probably opens from the inside. How do I get in? How can I possibly use a metal fish with that? Its fin is really sharp. I can't combine. What do I need to cut with? No idea what I need to cut with this thing. Stop! Oh, it's you! Come in! I can't... I can't... I'm not going down there. Not unless I have a good reason. It's too heavy to lift on my own. I'm gonna need something to leverage the weight with. I can't talk to that.
there's a monument. Okay. It says that Marie Toussaint and Karl Hens Janty were the first two people to colonize Ganymede. I don't think that'll fit in my jacket. How could I possibly use a metal fish with that? I can't do that. These must be the first two people to colonize Ganymede. We have a similar monument in Nuevo Consuelo, where we live. Actually, all planets and planetary bodies have monuments for the people that settled them. Seven twenty-three. That's me. Okay, you may enter to see the Viceroy. Finally. I guess I gotta get a ticket. Nine fifty-seven. What? Oof, got a high number. How did you know? Well, I've heard people complain about getting high ticket numbers. Your best bet is to trade with someone who has a lower number. Hmm, that could work. You wouldn't happen to know who has ticket 724. Actually, I think I do. That guy down in the restaurant. How will I know who he is? Uh, he's not the quietest of eaters. You'll know. Thanks. I owe you one. Don't mention it. Hey, are you related to that woman camped out in the forest? One sec. Yeah, that's my sister, Sandy. I'm Danny. Who are you? I'm Dexter. Your sister let me borrow the proverb book you memorized. Ah, space. Those proverbs. What a pain. Such a stupid puzzle. Just what I was thinking. <laughs> what are you working on over there? Oh, this? Maybe my sister told you. We're looking for a Breezian robot. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it leaves behind a very distinct radioactive trail. But my sensor over here keeps getting busted, so I'm trying to fix it. Spacey? Why are you and your sister so interested in Breeze and robots? What's not to be interested in? Ever since the first adventures visited Breeze, people have been fascinated with it. Yeah, but they completely destroyed our home planet and with robots nonetheless. But why? No one knows. If there really is a Vriesian robot walking around, we need to find it and ask it. Maybe we'll finally get an answer. Does it matter? They hate us. Maybe it's just a big misunderstanding, though. Yeah, right. It's like when my sister got me a taco t-shirt when I really wanted a taco wallet. She doesn't like tacos, so she wouldn't understand. I got mad at her, she got mad at me. It was all just a big misunderstanding. So, you're saying the Vriesians attacked us because they don't understand why we like tacos? Not tacos per se, but yeah, something like that. Hmm. Who did you say has ticket 724? That guy down in the restaurant has ticket 724. I think his name is T-Bone. What does he look like? Trust me, you can't miss him. I'll let you get back to what you're doing here. Thanks. Stay alert. There's no telling what's out there. Uh, sir? What? Could I talk to you for a moment? I'm trying to eat here. Yes, well... Would you like to trade tickets with me? I mean, since you're eating, I just thought... The ticket? You have it. space -orific. Where is it? Fell on my pack and slipped through the manhole down the store. You're welcome to go get it if you like. <laughs> is that something else you wanted? I think I'm feeling a little sick. I gotta go. Good idea. You might be coming down with something. Probably not. Ew, gross. Well, I guess it's not an adventure until you've been in a sewer. I can't reach it. There's nothing to pick up. Let's see, anything useful over here? There's a bunch of empty cans in a board, but it's too short to replace the collapsed bridge. Mm. 
ね。The walkway has completely collapsed. I gotta find something to get me to the other side. I don't have any reason to do that. There's nothing to use. That would just wake him up.、Hmm. Huh? Hey, what are you doing? Don't touch that. Sorry. Uh, sir? I have a question. One moment. How can I help you? I think I'm good. Thanks. Wonderful. Could I talk to you for a moment? I'm trying to eat here. Yes, well, I think I'm feeling a little sick. I gotta go. Good idea. You might be coming down with something. Probably not. Ew, gross. What do I need the rat for? It's pretty firmly attached. How could I possibly use a metal? Nothing interesting to do with it. Where am I going to get a board? It's pretty firmly attached. It's pretty firmly attached. That's where I sit. Why is my chair so. Now's not the time to sit around. I don't know. Hmm. It's just two arrows. One to the right, and one to the left. Clearly, someone doubts humanity's ability to walk in two different directions. Um, no. It's pretty firmly attached. How could I possibly use a metal fish with that? I don't know. It seems pretty logical to me. Oh, it's you. Come in. Alright, I don't know. Need something to cross with. I don't know how. 
All right, I'm going to take a break. Um, that is Dexter Stardust. Check it out. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.